So we're gonna see, and and boy is Israel in in for a surprise. And we're going to see in the next three chapters the organization of the kingdom, chapter eight, nine, and ten. Up to this time, the form of government had been a theocrat type government in a predatory world where only the the law of the jungle was recognized a nation in order to survive needed to be fairly strong so God accommodating himself to human ways permitted his nation to unify as other nations did under a king the first king was Samuel the first king Samuel was a failure but the second king David was magnificent success Of course, later on we see after the fall of Judah, the kingdom, the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom, we have, uh, let me put it in another way, after the fall of the kingdom of Judah, the southern kingdom of Judah, the last king is Zedekiah, Jeremiah took the daughters of Zedekiah to Egypt, and one of the daughters was named Scota, who married later on, and the, and Scotland was descendant from the daughters, the daughter of Zedekiah Scota, and the and they mixed with the house of Israel, and thus out of that ancestry came all the European monarchs that we had in the past present and expect even in the future so next time we will be looking at the continual story of first Samuel Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to hide these words in our hearts and minds and empower us to put into the pr and practice these truths. In Jesus Christ's name we ask and pray through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless.